Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you a Cartier unboxing, which is super exciting. It's an item that I've been eyeing for a really long time. It was actually featured on my 2022 luxury wishlist video. So if you want to go ahead and see the other items that I was eyeing for this year, then I will go ahead and leave that video in the little information link over here for you to see it. But if not, if you're interested in seeing what I got from Cartier, then let's start this unboxing. And really quickly before we start this unboxing, let me show you what my essay actually kindly included with my purchase. Is this super cute mini bag over here, which is probably going to end up somewhere either um, on my nightstand or on my vanity or something like this. I feel like it's so, so adorable. Um, and he's included chocolates and perfume samples, which is really nice with this little card over here, which I find so, so cute. It's these little, it's not like stickers, but you can go ahead and take them out and maybe like stick them somewhere. I think that they are so, so cute. It reminds me of like kid stuff, but you know, the adult version, which is really nice. Um, and then there's a bunch of perfume samples. The first one is Pure Kim Can. Um, I've actually, to be honest, never tried any um, Cartier perfume, so I have no idea what I'm getting into over here, but it's obviously the joy of trying. This one is called Cartier Déclaration. Again, never tried, <laughs> so I have no idea. This one is um, called Leur Osé. Ooh, kinky, I like that. Um, and then here it's uh, La Panthère. I think this one is famous. By the way, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of them, because I would be really curious to find out. Personally, I have not. Um, this is another La Panthère, and then here we have another one of these. Wow, I'm going to smell nice with all of these perfumes. Um, here is another one as well, um, and then he's included two chocolates, which is super cute here. He told me that these were Belgian chocolates, so we'll go ahead and try if it's nice or not. I think that there's um, milk chocolate and then dark chocolate. So yeah, now let's go ahead and start the real part of this unboxing. And now let's move on to the best part of this unboxing, which is da -da -da, the Cartier bag, which is the best. Oh my God, I'm already super excited. But first of all, let me show you what it actually came with. First, the receipt. That's kind of a dumb moment, of course. Next, we have the certification of authenticity. Very important. It's actually sealed, as you can see over here. Um, and it's kind of like in this thick little envelope over here. So always keep that, obviously. And then it also comes with a cleaning kit over here, very, very practical. And as you can see, the packaging is so beautiful, even for something as basic as a cleaning kit. Cartier has the most beautiful packaging, which I obviously really appreciate. And then the last thing that it came with is a travel pouch over here, very practical if you need to travel with your item, but don't want to like damage it or anything. This is super practical and the best for last is the actual piece Woo! oh my god i'm so excited so here is the actual piece from Cartier that i got by the way let me know in the comments down below if at this stage of the video you can go ahead and guess what i actually got from the shape of the box alone do you think that it's earrings do you think that it's a necklace a bracelet a ring anything like that so let me know in the comments down below what you think and we'll go ahead and open this together all right, so here we are with the box finally. I saved the best moment. So let's go ahead and open it together. For me, it's so orgasmic and I love to share that with you. So let's start. I usually start with the sides over here, although I'm sure there's no like real way of doing it because it always looks like a mess after that and it's always for the trash anyways. Um, but yeah, I usually start with the sides and then work my way to the top. And here we reveal this beautiful little box over here. It's so, so cute. It looks so adorable. And here is my beautiful box. And if we go ahead and open it together, we reveal another box that's kind of the thing with them. So classical of Cartier, but we really don't mind because the packaging is so beautiful. 
And here, um, the opening and closing system of this box is over here, so it's very simple. You just have to press the button and the box opens to reveal this beautiful thing that I got. So it's actually the Cartier Justin Clou ring in regular size in yellow gold with diamonds and I'm so excited to present it to you. So now let's go ahead and talk about why I chose it, sizing, and show you styling tips as well. And now let's talk about why I chose this particular ring. So the first thing that I have to tell you is that this is actually my first ever, ever ring. I know that you must be in shock uh, by now. And to be honest, as I'm saying these words, I'm actually a little bit in shock myself because I love jewelry. I love everything luxury and designer. And yet this is my first ever ring. Um, so this is kind of like a big deal for me. Um, but the real reason why I chose this is because I actually have the matching bracelets. Um, so I have over here the Justin Clou bracelet in yellow gold with diamonds in the regular size and I absolutely love this bracelet. I love it so much that I just keep on wearing it every time that I have an occasion. I love wearing it, dressing up outfits, dressing up bags um, and I think that it absolutely goes with everything. So anyway, long story short, I loved it so much that I was considering the matching piece. And then I actually went into the boutique and tried two different rings. I tried this one and then I tried the SM with the diamonds all around. I will try to find a picture somewhere on my phone. If I can find it, I will insert it probably here. Hopefully it's still on my phone and I haven't deleted it. So hopefully it's there by the time you're watching. But I was kind of debating in between these two rings and you know, I went back and forth like a lot. The thing that ultimately made the decision for me was that um, if you're a returning subscriber, you probably know this, but I'm super, super tall. I'm actually 5'11 or 180 centimeters. And for that reason, I have the longest finger on the entire planet. As you can see, these are like super, super long finger. They're not very thick, but they're very long. Um, and so the thing is that the SM ring looked a little small on me. It looked very thin and small. It was very kind of like, I don't know, tiny. So it made my um, fingers look even bigger. And so I didn't really like that. And then the look with the diamonds all around was a little much for me. I like being extra, but that was extra, extra. <laughs> um, and extra, extra isn't really for me. So yeah, the combination of the fact that the ring was too small for me, plus the, the too much diamonds. I know I'm surprised to say this. There can be a thing that's called too much diamonds. Um, that was just, yeah, too much for me. So I decided to get this one. I think it's the perfect look. It's very like classy. It's a little bit edgy at the same time because of the Justin Clou model, but then it actually doesn't have like too many diamonds that it can still be a little bit subdued, um, which is really what I like. So now let's go ahead and talk about sizing. So now let's go ahead and talk about sizing. And like I mentioned before, this is actually my first ever ring. So I didn't know much about the sizing of rings before. I told my essay that I intended on wearing it on the middle finger. And so he brought two different sizes, a 53 and a 54. I tried both. The 54 felt a little loose. Um, it felt like as I had it like um, on me, it was gonna roll over. Um, it was going to twist around my finger. It was fairly secure, so I wasn't gonna lose it or anything, but it felt like it was going to bother me because it was going to roll around my finger. Um, and then I tried the 53, which felt a little tight, but then at the same time, it was definitely going to sit in place. I wasn't gonna lose it, and it was gonna sit in place exactly where I wanted it, at the precise millimeter where I wanted it. So I went back and forth, I think like half an hour. <laughs> um, my say is extremely patient, by the way. Uh, bless him because that was really kind of uh, yeah back and forth for a really long time and um, you know at the same time I felt like for me what I really wanted in a ring was something that wasn't gonna roll around that um, I would be able to have exactly where I wanted it and so for that reason my essay actually advised a 53 um, and the thing is that I had a similar experience with the love bracelet I know it's a bracelet so it's extremely different but what ended up happening was I tried a 14 and a 15 
and the 15 was a little like on the looser side for me the 14 was a little bit tight and he said go for the 14 wear it for two weeks and then come back and tell me how it feels and like for the first two weeks let me tell you how uncomfortable it was I was always like dangling this it was so annoying I was always like you know I felt like this like tight pressure around my wrist because actually I wasn't used to wearing bracelets um, this was like my first ever everyday bracelet like the thing that sits on my wrist every day and so I came back after the two weeks and I was like well I think it was just a matter of like getting adjusted to wearing a bracelet all the time and he said yeah that's you know that's what I thought so that's why I advise you to get size 14 same for this ring um, he advised to get a size 53 and to come back in two weeks if I feel like there's like a slight discomfort or anything I could exchange it for another size or even return it um, I think that the return period for Cartier is 30 days so I got a size 53 and I feel good about it if you're ever considering getting this ring I would highly recommend going to the store and trying it on this is really not something that I could consider getting you know online or from like I don't know a reseller or something without having tried it on in store at first also because the Justin Clou ring is special it's like a special you know design and it's a special ring I also tried at the same time the love ring which felt very different um, I had a size 54 uh, for the love ring and that was you know even tight so sizing is very different because this model is special um, it just sits like at a very specific place on your knuckle so obviously you know you need to try it on in store so I would definitely go ahead and recommend getting it and also trying it on before and maybe you know you can benefit from like the what I call trial period at Cartier and now let's finally talk about the different ways of styling this item and let me tell you how I think I'm going to do it so actually for me I don't think this will be an everyday piece instead I consider wearing this on the days where I want to be extra you know for occasions for visiting like a nice store or a mall or something like that I think that I'm going to reserve this piece for that and for that reason I would style this with my Rolex they just 36 millimeters in black dial with diamonds um, which I have over here and then I also have the Justin Clou matching bracelet so it's yellow gold with diamonds in regular size so I think that for me this is like a perfect match it's a match made in heaven especially for the days where I want to be extra by the way let me know in the comments down below um, if you would add a ring either on like another finger or um, on top of this ring as a stack I would really like to have your opinion as I've mentioned before this is my first ever ring so I'm super super new to the ring world so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you would do what you think do you think that I should add another one on top of this or below this or have one on another finger um, so yeah I would really like to have your opinion because at this point to be honest I'm a little bit lost um, I feel like a, like a newbie in the luxury world so I would really benefit from your opinion I hope that you had fun watching me unbox this beautiful ring from Cartier because I certainly had a lot of fun as always if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one